Hey everyone, Son Alexander again for video number two for tonight. Uh, this was a request that I do the cod piece next, uh, as somebody was having trouble with it. Uh, give you a closer view of a couple of the things that I did. Uh, basically, I used a peppercora. Sorry for the glare, uh, but I used I just used pep to do this. This was actually my real first attempt at pep, but I didn't even use the tabs. Um, I use just the basic, the most basic templates to do this. And how I did that was uh, by obviously down there. It's, if you Google it, if you Google um, uh, Old Republic Pepecora, uh, you can find these files on the RPF from Furfic. I think that's his name, that guy right there. And uh, it, this with the COD piece was a free download that I got, it was just on the forums. So, uh, you notice that over here, there's all these, you know, separate strip pieces to give it the detail. Obviously, I didn't, I didn't go into all that because most of it's covered by the belt, and I dry brushed it so you wouldn't see that anyways. And for foam, I wanted it flexible, but I just used, like everything else, quarter inch EVA foam, um, and just drop down the edges so there's no. See on the back. It's not really glued. Um, actually, it is. I lied. I'm sorry. Uh, I just cut the piece bigger and just glued it to the back with hot glue. And on this one, I just raised the detail a bit. So it's really ugly on the back. Um, and this piece, I just cut larger because right there, it's uh, really small and I didn't care for it. So I just cut it a lot larger, Tr uh, trimmed it up a bit. As you can see, my piece versus the one on Pep is uh, different. Sorry about the glare again. So you can eyeball this. It really isn't too difficult. It really is, it's uh, well. I shouldn't say that. Some people are having difficulty, and I apologize for that. Um, but I just I did uh, let's see two sections up here. So this is two sections, but you could literally make it one section. The other piece. Uh, you can mirror it by making your template and it's just this piece here so you can just flip that and use it for this piece and then cut out those two sections if you wanted to eyeball it so it's one two three four five pieces essentially and actually you'll notice how this piece I just heat gunned it and warped it a bit but if you're going to use the pep route which you can for this piece which is pretty simple it also allows you to size it um, what I did was I used uh, the join and disjoin option and I just put these pieces together because I kind of thought it was silly that I have these gigantic pieces um, that were separate so see now you have two big pieces and you can put that in here Ta-da! And select and move. So you can get that in there. And join and disjoin again. So you can just keep doing that. So that, see how those lines disappear? That's what I did. So on this side you have this extra piece right here. Well you go over here and you go join and ta-da! The line is gone. So now you have your solid pieces. Now let's see, select and move, move it over here, move this over here, and just keep doing that until you get your, your cut pieces that you need, because also, you're going to come up here and you're going to say show flaps, you're going to get rid of the flaps, because if you're going to do it out of foam, like I did, you don't need them. So, join and disjoin again, we want, where is it? You can just keep making uh, individual pieces. See? Ta da! And select and move. And if the piece is too big um, for your paper, you can break it again and print out the uh, those pages, so, or print out those pieces separately, and then just tape them together when you get them you don't have to print them out like this you can 
you can use masking tape or scotch tape or what have you and, and just tape them together edge to edge um, to get your solid piece. So there you go, you got your solid piece. Uh, you can just get rid of the other one, you don't need it. You can use this same template to uh, just, you know, flip it. You just mirror it on the other side of the phone. Uh, same deal with this. the other sections, you see all these lines. Just get rid of them. You don't need all this little tab stuff down here. You don't need this stuff. You can get rid of those. Uh, and just put it together in five solid pieces and cut it out. Or, like I said, however many pieces you need to get the, uh, um, the template done for the phone. And uh, this was, like I said, this was the one piece that I cheated on. I didn't, I didn't eyeball this. It was the first piece I actually made of the armor and it was right when I learned what Pepecora was and I wanted to try it and see how it works and it turned out pretty good so this was the first piece I used um, Pepecora for so that's how I did it was Pep but again you can you can eyeball it it's um, it's just five pieces that you can do these and everything I do is just eyeballing at least everything I did with the Sith Acolyte was eyeballing so uh, it, it shouldn't be too much trouble. I hope that that helped some folks. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact me on my uh, Facebook page, and uh, I'll do what I can to help alleviate the problems. Uh, these pieces right here, they're Velcro. I ended up sticking these on, um, and the other side is on the belt, because when you wear this thing, there's no connection. So as you walk, it starts to do this, and it looks stupid. So I put Velcro on there, and on the other side of the belt so it stays in place. Uh, I might remake this piece eventually. I think I made mine a little too big and sadly I don't remember the measurements anymore but um, as you can see it started to wear where I was walking with the uh, thigh plate so I might actually shrink it down a bit. This side's okay but this one kept wearing kept uh, rubbing up against the other the thigh plate so uh, I might I might remake this and if I do I'll I'll do another tutorial on how I did it but that's about it. So, so this is Sam Alexander saying stay tuned. I'll get some more tutorials out for you. And hope you guys had a good Halloween. And everybody's in good health. See you guys later. Bye.